how many members. The optimal number of members in a Christian church or cell group. The bigger a cell or congregation grows, the less likely it is to launch new groups that will do the same in turn. Therefore, where churches seek to reproduce and multiply in an expanding Christian movement, leaders must decide when a gathering has grown too big. The right number of seekers and believers in small groups differs with their social, cultural, and economic backgrounds. Thus, church multiplication guru, George Patterson, offers this sage advice. A basic rule of scripture to determine the size of a congregation is that it is too big when it can no longer practice the interaction that God requires. Believers should study the one another commands and passages about a congregation functioning as a body. It is time for a church or cell to break up into several groups when all of its members no longer have time to put into practice the following commands. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing with thankfulness in your hearts to God. If anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. The Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Encourage one another with these words. And be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving one another, just as God also forgave you in Christ. Confess your sins to one another, and pray for one another, so that you may be healed. The urgent request of a righteous person is very powerful in its effect. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Encourage one another and build one another up. This does not mean that you should forbid big congregations and big worship events, but it does mean that all believers should also participate actively in little churches that are part of a much bigger church. Church planter Brian Hogan recommends that movement leaders find a frequency of big congregational meetings that does not discourage members' participation in cell group gatherings.